Hello and welcome to this edition of DECast. My name is Rob Bagby. I'm a developer evangelist for Microsoft Corporation. And this is the third in a multi-part series I'm doing uh, illustrating some of the facets of the Microsoft platform that PHP developers might want to take advantage of. Specifically in this series, or in this screencast, I'm going to be illustrating how you can host your PHP applications in Windows Azure. Before I jump into the how, I want to show you just a, a couple slides to set some context. If you're not familiar with what Windows Azure is, it's Microsoft's cloud-based platform. It runs on a massive number of servers in Microsoft data centers, and those servers are all tied together through something known as the fabric. And this fabric provides this capacity for a very simple administration for some, some pretty complex uh, problems, and we'll be talking about those in, in just a moment. The platform provides the, the capacity, really, if you break it down, it, it provides the ability for you to host applications such as web apps, uh, web services, as well as things that are uh, operating, you might think of as like operating system level services, as well as uh, it allows you to read and write data. And on top of that, again, is this fabric that provides a simple transparent administration for, for those services. And we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about what that is on, on this slide. The question you might have is, why would I want to host in Windows Azure? And uh, this slide kind of addresses that. You can think of it from a scalability standpoint. Uh, perhaps you want to have a web farm type environment where you want to have a, a, a number of nodes all tied together and, and wired up into a load balancer, but you don't want to worry about the administration of that. You don't want to worry about building out the infrastructure. You just want to be able to say, I want four nodes up and running and, uh, and, and get it automatically wired up into a load balancer for you. That's the simple administration inside of Windows Azure. You want this, the availability so that our administration or our fabric will monitor the health of your application and say a node is no longer accepting HTTP requests, we'll bring up another node in that node's place and wire it into the load balancer for you. You don't have to worry about that. And lastly, it's a pay for what you use. So if you maybe have five nodes up and running, you've got a seasonal application and, uh, and you no longer need all five nodes running, you can scale back down to two. Well, then you only pay for those two nodes that are running at any point in time. It, it, it's a pretty big differentiator between, uh, you know, between a, a hosted environment. If you want more information, you can go out to my blog or windowsazure.com. My blog is robbagby.com, and you can get more information on, you know, the whys of Windows Azure. For now, I'm going to jump into the demo to illustrate to you just how to host your PHP app in, inside of Windows Azure. Now you see I've got Visual Studio opened here. Um, I've installed uh, the Visual Studio tools as well as the Windows Azure SDK. Uh, for more information on how to get this environment set up, go out to robbagby.com. I've got a screencast that shows you exactly how to get your environment set up. So I'm gonna click New Project. I'm gonna choose a cloud service and a blank cloud service. So here I'm just gonna go ahead and call this thing Coho Azure. I'm gonna click OK. Now it's just building out a nice little cloud services project for me. And this, uh, and this is where I'm just going to right click and choose to add a new web role project. And so here's where I want to choose my CGI web role because I'm, uh, I want to host my PHP code in here. So I need to choose the CGI web role. I'm just going to call this PHP CGI. I'll click OK or add. And so down here you can see I've got my, my web application and this is where I'm going to want to add in things like my PHP application, uh, my PHP any, etc. And I'm going to do just that. I've got a little sample I've already written. So I'm going to grab this and I'm just going to drag it over here. And as this is going, I'm going to just start splunking through and showing you what you've got. Um, here's, the, here's the PHP application itself. And so you can see here's my PHP uh, CGI and that's the fast CGI application that I'm going to be using. I've also got my php.ini uh, in here, and uh, I'm actually using uh, the curl library. And so I need to make sure that my php any gets pushed out with the rest of my project. So I'm going to set this thing, uh, excuse me, to be, uh, to be content. And this is a, if you have a change to your PHP application, make sure you set the build action to content. And that way when it gets packaged up, your any file will get packaged up with it. The rest of this is just my little PHP application. So I've got a little uh, shopping cart uh, example here. And uh, let's just get this thing configured and up and running. The first thing I need to do is to go into my web.role config. I'm going to grab this. Uh, they've, they've given you, me a head start in the, in the config file. And so I'm just going to go ahead here and tell it what my fast CGI application is. And so that's going to fall under role root. 
but it's under PHP. And then I showed you what the file was. It was a php-cgi.exe. And I need that again, so I'm just going to copy that, put that into the clipboard. We're not going to pass any arguments, so I'm going to delete that. The next thing I need to do is to uh, essentially tell Visual Studio what my startup file is. So uh, I'm going to go into my web.config, and I'm going to go down to the system.webserver node. And uh, this, is, uh, this is where I can define what my startup project, or excuse me, my startup file is. And I actually have a little, uh, little uh, snippet to, sh uh, to do that. So I just set up the default document, and this is my default document. It's that catalog.php. Now I go down to the handlers, and this is where I need to configure what the appropriate uh, CGI handler is, the HTTP handler for my PHP uh, files. I need to go in and set the extension to be uh, start.php. And then I can go in and set the script processor again to that PHP WAC uh, uh, PHP-CGI. Now I'm just going to pull this outside of these comments, and we're good to go. And let, I'm not going to worry about the, the formatting here. So one last thing I need to do, I need to go into my configuration file in my services project. It's, this falls under the csdef file. And inside of there is an enable native code execution, which defaults to false. In order for the CGI app to run, I need to set this to true. And so by following those steps, I now have the capacity to run this application or to host my PHP application in Azure. Now, the interesting thing, you just saw me click on run. Um, I'm not actually publishing this thing out to the cloud right now. I'm going to run this. It's going to walk through the exact same publish it steps it would in order to uh, go out to the cloud, with the exception of it's not going to uh, encrypt and, c and compress my application that gets packaged up. It's just running it in a local simulation. So you can see that I actually have my application running in this local simulation, allowing me to develop, but without actually having to push out into the cloud. And you can see that my little PHP app is in fact running inside of my local simulation. Now let me show you how you can get this thing published out to the cloud. I stopped the application. Let me just close all this out so we don't have any noise in there. I'm going to right click on my project, my cloud services project, and I'm going to choose publish. And it's going to go through and it's going to package up my application again into really two things. One, a file that has all of my application packaged in it, and another which is a configuration file. I'm going to take those two and I'm going to push those up into my, uh, into my uh, Azure portal. And it, uh, it's also, well, you can see it opened up Windows, uh, a little window uh, where those two files uh, were, uh, were published. And it brought me into my Azure Services Developer Portal. So this is my Azure portal. I'm going to click on this project, Bag BPHP, in that portal. And this is where I'm going to go ahead and push this thing out to my staging environment here. So I'm going to click on Deploy. And it's going to bring up a little web page where I can essentially just go ahead and choose my two files. So I'm going to choose uh, the location that they uh, that uh, opened up for me. I'm going to open up uh, and, and uh, push out my uh, configuration flat file. I'm going to give it a name. I'm just going to call this Coho uh, PHP Test. And I'm going to click Deploy. And this is going to take a few minutes for it to deploy. So I'm just going to actually go ahead and pause this video, and I will be back as soon as the application is deployed. So we're back, and uh, this is the screen that, that popped back for me. Uh, you can see that the, the files have deployed. Now I actually have to click on a button to, to actually run the uh, app, and you can see it's out in my staging environment. So I'm going to click Run, and then while this thing is, uh, is spinning up, I'm going to go ahead and pause again. Okay, well, it's back now, and as you can see, my, uh, my uh, project has been started, and uh, it's been given a subdomain name of a GUID out here on cloudapp.net, so I can click on it, and it's going to bring up a, my web application that's now running out in, uh, in Azure. So I hope this was helpful for you. Uh, in the next screencast, I'm going to illustrate how you can take advantage of Azure Table Storage uh, with, uh, from within PHP. Thank you very much for your time.